A former basketball coach threatened to shoot students. Ed Medek, a Fresno City College professor and former basketball coach, was arrested Friday after making threats while teaching a class on August, 13, August the 15th to harm people on campus, according to the campus police. In a timely warning notification required by the Clery Act of 1998, he faces two felony counts for making threats against students and officials. This is crazy to me. FCC students didn't find out until Monday morning about the arrest. While teaching a class, Mr. Medek allegedly made threats against college officials and students in general, stating that he should he would shoot them, the police department said in the notification. This is, of course, to, according to Thaddeus Miller at the Fresno B. The State Center Community College District Police detailed that Medek compared bullet points in a PowerPoint presentation to bullets flying towards students. This is from uh, Stephen Price over at KSEE. I want to stop right there for a minute. Why did people not find out about this until Monday? Why didn't <clears throat> why didn't was someone know about this? Why didn't they let people know when it happened? I can't I can't for the life of me understand what kind of reporting system you got where people one allowed the class to continue or allow him to continue to teach more classes without addressing this fact, brother. I would say, uh, come on, Mondell, you know how bureaucracies work. They 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 had to get the ass cover in mode first. First thing they're going to do when they get the report is, quote unquote, investigate. Um, and then they're going to make it public after they dotted their I's and crossed their T's as far as liabilities and things like that are concerned. That always comes first in every single um, bureaucracy. It's like, how do we cover ourselves first? Um, and then maybe if we could figure out how to make sure the students are good and the rest of the faculty and staff were not in harm's way, maybe we'll get that situated. But first, they keep themselves employed. They keep themselves, you know, in power before anything. That's what I would attribute any delay to. That always seems to be the case. Yeah, and I think that case might have hurt them because according to Stephen, uh, Stephanie Price over at KSEE, they had a, le a letter from a Madik's attorney, Robert Carroll, and that stated the information against him was incorrect and wrong. On August 22nd, 2023, Ed Madik arrived at Fresno City College to teach his class and was told uh, he was being put on administrative leave for allegedly threats made on August 15th. Between August 15th to the 22nd, Mr. Madik had taught at least five classes on campus. The school took no action action for seven days. That fact alone cast doubt on these allegations. And that's, of course, hmm. according to Carol's attorney, speaking exactly to what smart. we said. This delay absolutely is smart. And it's absolutely scary that they allowed this man to go into the classroom for seven days. Like you said, while they were trying to, we don't know this to be true, but it sounds like it could be plausible. Build a case to defend themselves, not protect the students. They gave this man five more days, seven more days to threaten and possibly even do some harm to students that he said bullet points represent flying at these students. That is not protecting the students. That is protecting image for whatever reason. It goes on to talk about Madik was placed on administrative leave following the class in August. He was arrested about 2 p.m. Friday in Mercer, in Mr. County. He was taken to Fresno County Jail, but has since posted bail, police said. Given the nature of the alleged threats, police said anyone on campus should not approach him, but rather call 911 or campus police. Of course, that came from the Fresno B, and that is Mr. Oh, Miller. Here's my problem. What, did, what does the police officer mean? Anyone on campus should not approach him. Did they not ban him from campus while they figure this out, while they investigate this? Can someone please explain to me why this teacher still has access or if this teacher still has access to the uh, the students on that campus and the officials who he threatened? Wise, what do you think about that? Again, <laughs> none of this stuff surprises me, especially as it pertains to staff. I, I, I can just see these guys sitting around like they get the report. Somebody saying, hey, let's step in. Let's let's just you know what? We don't have to, to strip this guy of any pay. Let's just put him on leave immediately. You know, if we do this investigation and it was a misunderstanding, you know, he wasn't financially impacted. We can get somebody to replace this guy um, and, and, and come in and teach for him in the intervening time and keep it pushing that way. Instead, again, they go into the opposite mode and drag their feet, of course, which which I can't, it's hard for me to, to give them the benefit of the doubt when these things get handled this way. It doesn't seem like the the sort of 
um, safety of the students was put first. It's hard to believe that was the case if this kind of allegation is levied and he's still allowed to show up to work the next day. Yeah. And I mean, like, it's not like he was teaching. Um, and I'm not demeaning any education. It's not like he was teaching a, a, a mandatory course in this, in the science or the social science. Uh, he's a, he's a physical ed teacher. So the college wouldn't have went under without physical ed. Uh, even if they <laughs> couldn't find, even if they couldn't have found a replacement for him immediately. Right. He formally coached the Fresno City College men's basketball team and then spent less than a full season at Buchanan's high school as a coach. Madik was removed as the college coach and placed on paid administrative lead. Look at this. In February 2020, with one regular season game remaining because of an alleged violation over snacks and team barbecues. This is, of course, according to the free. <laughs> this story is getting weird and weird. Maybe he brought chicken barbecue instead of pork barbecue, and maybe he brought um, some the wrong snacks to go along with the barbecue. I can't even understand what's going on here. I want to know more about this story and also how is this guy continually put on administrative leave and given this pass when we see a current behavior pattern that's that's forming here. Uh, Watts, how yeah, do you like I, your barbecue? I've, I've been on record many a times on, on this platform that like I don't think people should just lose their jobs in America willy-nilly. Um, when we consider the, the lack of a social safety net, basically, if you don't, if you're not drawing a paycheck, you are completely on your own. However, when people are messing up at work, like they should be getting better at what they're messing up at. They shouldn't be getting put over and over on administrative leave because people are constantly complaining about them. Like, yeah, do better, brother. <laughs> like, holy yeah. moly.